Welcome to this shortwave radio channel and uh, well I have an official verdict after testing for roughly not 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 exactly a week but almost a week um, a verdict of uh, so how does the ML830 cheap Chinese amplified magnetic loop uh, perform versus the much more expensive W6 LVP amplified magnetic loop. Well, I can tell you one thing this W6 LVP loop is $500 Canadian that it comes up to here with all the things that I had to pay. And um, the ML830 loop is 10 times less, cost me roughly 60 Canadian dollars, so it's almost 10 times less. And I just can say one thing. If you have a loop intended to buy, buy the MLA30. I don't understand why you would um, actually uh, give more money to uh, have an expensive loop that doesn't perform more. It doesn't perform better in any aspects. Um, I've actually been able to do one thing that I can on the W6LVP, but I suspect that performance is probably really close. Uh, W6 LVP loop that I have is blocked because of filters on a long wave medium wave so I can't test it there but I can tell you one thing is that the MLA 30 loop performs amazingly well on medium wave and long wave and it actually performs well all across the short wave bands if I compare it to my W6 LVP loop on every signal I would say that eight times out of ten the MLA 30 actually has less noise which makes the signal better the signal strength in itself is the same. That means that on both, if the noise would be equal, I would have the same level of signal most of the time. There are times when the MLA30 actually had a better signal than the W6LVP loop. And uh, overall, it's an amazing performer. I, I, I just can't say it enough. If you have a loop to buy, buy this loop. It's going to save you money and it works great. Uh, here I'm not talking about long-term performance. A lot of people have been talking about that. Yeah, but you know, in the long run, well, I, let's let's give it uh, uh, time. But a lot of people and some of you actually that have it actually have opened that little box here, the MLA30 box, uh, to uh, send me messages telling me, hey, uh, here's pictures, here's how it's made. It's actually in epoxy. All the circuit is protected. That means even if water infiltrates the box, the circuit board itself is within epoxy. And so water would not technically affect the uh, circuit board. It is nicely constructed, honestly, for a loop of that price. Of course, the MLA the uh, W6LVP loop, to be fair, comes with that pole here that I have right here to uh, actually set it up and have the loop. It also came with a power supply which is a um, linear Walwart power supply to uh, power it up and uh, so that of course does raise the price a little bit but if you remove, even if you removed these two objects that um, you know, it, there's a basic kit that you can buy that actually uh, you get the loop, you get, you get the electronics actually, and you just have to, you know, build your own loop. And even that is three times more expensive than actually purchasing an L MLA30. So, uh, and you don't have any power supply, you don't have uh, anything just like the MLA30, but three, three, three times the price. So, uh, oops, wrong slide. So, anyways. If my verdict is in and it's official, I mean the MLA30 performs as well as not better, and there's no need to buy expensive loops. And for those that are wondering, because you say, yeah, but uh, what about you know comparing to the Wellbrook? Well, many videos of Wellbrook versus W6LVP loop that I examine show that the Wellbrook and the W6LVP loop perform pretty much the same. And if that is the case, that means that even against the Wellbrook this loop will work as well and uh, I do have lower noise it's it's funny but I do have lower noise on the MLA 30 it's kind of interesting 
So uh, also the uh, cool thing of the MLA30 that I like and that honestly the W6 LVP loop should include is the cable. There's actually enough length of cable to put the loop outside and have that cable come inside and be um, you know plugging on the uh, inserter box because there's a, a power box for uh, inserting the power and everything and having the connectors for the um, for your receivers. It comes with everything you need honestly. It even comes with the piece of wire needed to uh, plug in that um, you know power box to uh, for example my RSP1A SDR with an MS SMA connector. If you have other types of receivers you can buy uh, connectors or adapters that actually will um, you know be SMA to PL259 or so on depending on the radio you have. But I gotta say MLA30 is an amazing performer. It's as good as the W6 LVP and in some cases even better. So uh, this is really an amazing antenna for the price. Uh, you can get it on eBay for roughly for between 40 and 60 US dollars depending on the, the, the vendor but um, it's really worth it. If you're looking for a good antenna that might lower somewhat some of the noise you have and actually pull in those signals this loop on every frequency tested from 160 meters down to a 10 meter up every signal that I've heard uh, was at least as good if not better on the MLA30. If you enjoy our videos please subscribe give us thumbs up thank you for watching